Good morning, Anuradha. My name is Sanjeev Shah. I am an academic visual signal processor, third year second semester. Uh, this course, this course is a uh, course subject for electronics and communication engineering people. So in this subject, uh, the students will learn how signals will uh, process in a digital domain with the help of a digital signal processor. So I am going to explain uh, introduction to uh, digital signal processing. So here, uh, what do you mean by signal? What do you mean by uh, signal? Mean? Any anything which carries information is called signal. For example, a physical parameter which depends upon another physical parameter and which conveys some information, basic information is called signal. Next, uh, coming to signal processing. Uh, so what do you mean by signal processing? Signal processing means the processor manipulates, manipulates applied input signal. So like enhancing, uh, is decreasing and changing parameters of the signal is known as signal processing. And what do you mean by digital signal processing mean? It is not that signal processing is carried out with the help of a digital signal processor. So now digital signal processing includes these are the uh, three, three very important blocks. One is analog to digital converter. So here analog to digital converter, the input signal, the input signal here it is analog. Okay, that is, we consider a simple a sinusoidal signal, analog signal here VI, VI uh, with respect to time, so positive amplitude A and reference with negative amplitude and with the time, time duration uh, T, that is your 5 and 2 5 you consider this analog signal that is applied between your input, input of your analog to digital converter. This analog to digital converter is a very important uh, a block. In this, uh, different types of ADCs are used. Analog to digital converters are uh, uh, used. For example, analog to digital converters, uh, we have uh, successive approximation, successive approximation, ADC and here dual slope, dual slope, ADC we have, I get, uh, so many, so many analog digital converters we have. Here this input signal applied to analog to digital converter, this ADC converts digital signal into digital signal into, uh, analog, sorry, analog signal into digital. Okay, that is, here we can see okay, this is uh, digital signal. Digital signal means it is defined only at particular instant of time. Digital signal. So here we have x of n. This is representation of digital signal. We will have positive amplitude 0 and here uh, negative amplitude and see your time period is denoted by capital N. Okay, this is your uh, digital signal, display time signal you can say. So this is analog signal applied to this ADC and this ADC converts this analog signal into digital signal. Okay, this is this digital signal that is denoted by X of N versus N. Okay, this is input to this is input to your uh, digital signal processor. So in digital signal processor, we can apply so many operations. We can apply so many operations on this discrete time signal. Okay, like uh, uh, discrete Fourier series, we can apply discrete Fourier series. And uh, we can apply discrete Fourier transform. Discrete Fourier transform, we can apply operation. Otherwise, we can apply some more sophisticated tool. It is a fast Fourier transform. Fast Fourier transform, two times we have decimation in time, decimation in frequency, you can analyze. These are the operations uh, DFS, DFT and FFT applied on this uh, 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 digital signal. After processing digital signal, output of this digital DSP processor, once again it is a digital. Once again it is digital and enhanced, enhanced signal, that is enhanced signal denoted by x cap of n. X cap of n will have your positive amplitude 0 and negative amplitude. Okay, this is output of our DSP. 
after applying. So many operations you can apply in this one. Uh, like uh, your DSP processor, addition, subtraction, like uh, micro processor, whatever operations you do, so we can apply all operations in the digital signal uh, with the help of digital signal processor. This is like simple computer, right? So we will apply so many operations on the, uh, the discrete time signal, digital signal. Your digital signal processing means announcing, announcement for manipulations are done on your discrete time signal. After manipulation, so we get a uh, output signal. That output signal is applied to that. This is called digital to analog converter. So like here, a successive approximation, dual slow, and so many examples uh, can be used in, in this of uh, this ADC. Like same way here, we have a weighted register. Weighted register method we have ADCs. ADCs we have here. Uh, first one, uh, weighted weighted uh, resistor. Weighted resistor method. Weighted resistor method we have another one R2 R R2 R resistor method we have. In case of digital to analog converter, we can use uh, this one. Sorry, here uh, DAC. These are DACs, uh, digital to analog converters. Weighted resistor method we have another one R2 R method we have DACs. Uh, these DAX we can use in place of uh, uh, this, uh, this block diagram, uh, digital to analog converter, which converts, which converts this digital signal, which converts this digital signal into again in your output. It converts into output, again here we will get as it is output signal, we know. Whatever, whatever we applied input signal after processing, here we get processed signal. This is called processed processed signal with the help of your uh, DSP. So, what DSP does actually? We can uh, analog signal processes. Uh, analog signal is converted into digital, and digital input is to your DSP processor. And different operations performed on this uh, uh, digital signal of a processing will get uh, uh, digital signal again that is given to the x cap of uh, x cap of n and this uh, digital signal is uh, given to your uh, uh, digital to analog converter this is a digital to analog converter again it converts to the original signal okay this is called uh, processed signal so here uh, signal processing we have two types signal processing we have two types one is analog signal processing analog signal processing and another method we have uh, digital signal processing. Digital signal processing. So the difference, main difference between these analog, analog and digital. In olden days, analog signal processing is used. The input is x of t time time dependent, and uh, analog systems are used to process this analog signal. Whereas now. Uh, Signal processing is done with the help of digital nowadays. Latest technologies are applied in these digital signal processing for processing signals. So those are called discrete Fourier series, very powerful tool, and discrete Fourier transform and fast Fourier transform. So your discrete Fourier series completely used to analyze periodic signals. Whereas your discrete Fourier transform and fast Fourier transform are used for analyzing periodic signals as well as your non-periodic signals. So your DFT, the drawback of DFT is overcome by fast Fourier transform. Like so we are coming to uh, digital signal processing. The accuracy, the accuracy will be more. Advantage if you see accuracy. Accuracy is more in this one. Advantage. And uh, high high fidelity. So in this one, if we use digital signal processor, another one uh, advantage is high fidelity. I fidelity we have and the efficiency, efficiency of our work in this one we observe that is also very high, efficiency high and your output, the output obtained will be more uh, <coughs> more useful compared to your uh, previous analog signal. These are the advantages and digital signal processing, digital signal processing is used in many applications 
like audio signal processing, video signal processing, radar, radar signal processing, satellite signal processing is also used in uh, medical, especially the signals connected, that is uh, ECG signals connected, whatever ECG signals uh, collected from a human, human brain, those signals are processed with the help of a digital computer, digital, and uh, whatever uh, samples obtained, based upon the samples, doctor uh, will suggest for a patient how, how to treat and what are the medicines can be given in further form. In medical, in medical signal process also is used. In military purpose, in military purpose also, uh, this digital signal process comes in techniques are used like uh, ascending uh, ports, secret ports and uh, decoding uh, secret ports. Okay, digital signal processing is also used in uh, your, uh, making uh, videos and audios. These are the applications of uh, digital signal uh, processing. Compared to analog signal processing, nowadays analog signal processing is replaced with uh, digital signal uh, processing. These are the advantages and disadvantages and applications of uh, digital signal uh, processing. Here, <coughs> see, in analog to digital converter, we can observe clear picture how it is manipulating with analog signal. The processing of analog signal is very uh, high. Why? Right? Because infinite number of values you have. This is continuous time signal. Right? Continuous time signal means which is defined at every instant of time. Continuous time signal. This is. So, in, in order to process the signal, we require high power consumption. High power consumption, bandwidth river, storage. These are all drawbacks of this unlock signal. So, now this unlock signal is converted into digital. So, now digital signal processing becomes easy. Compared to your one more advantage, your power consumption, the power consumption of digital signal processing is also very less compared to your uh, analog signal processing. Why? Because all our digital systems, your ADC, DSP processor, and your uh, digital to analog converter, these are all digital systems which consumes less power. Hence, uh, digital signal processors are very useful compared to analog signal processor. Power consumption. Next, in case of bandwidth also. Bandwidth consumed. Bandwidth consumed by analog signal processing. This analog signal, continuous time signal, right? So your bandwidth in order to transmit this, this signal, so bandwidth consumed by analog signal processing takes very high bandwidth compared to digital signal processing. So digital signal processing will have digital signals which are in uh, zeros and uh, ones. The digital signals are represented uh, by in a square waveform, digital signal. So this is uh, digital value, digital value, right? So this is indicated by square value, otherwise uh, it is indicated by binary values, zeros or ones. Zero indicates low voltage level and uh, one indicates uh, high level, high level. So this is uh, one more advantage, bandwidth. So one is bandwidth consumption, another one uh, power consumption, power consumption. Power consumption is less. And compared to system complexity, compared to system complexity also, the digital signal processor occupies very less complexity compared to your analog signal processor. Analog signal, there is analog circuits, like analog circuits, uh, tippers, dampers, and amplifiers, and those are all analog circuits it uses. Whereas in digital signal processing, digital systems are used. Digital systems, uh, example, here gates it uses, gates, gates it uses, and also uh, uh, combination circuit, it uses combination of circuits, combination uh, circuits, at the same time, uh, sequential circuits it uses, one more, uh, sequential uh, circuits, sequential circuits it uses. Combination circuits means encoder, decoder, and uh, comparator, multiplexer, demultiplexer circuits it uses, and uh, a sequential circuit, sequential circuits like uh, pin blocks it uses, counters it uses. Uh, these are the different blocks present in this uh, digital signal processor. Hence, the system complexity, uh, if you observe in case of analog and digital also, digital is superior compared to analog signal processor. And uh, henceforth, uh, student will learn how to process this uh, digital signals.
official signals with the help of uh, these uh, powerful tools are the district Fourier series, district Fourier transform, and uh, fast Fourier transform. And also students uh, can learn in this research signal process how to design filters. How to design uh, filters? Uh, we have two types of filters. We have uh, IAR filters. IAR filters we have. Student can able to uh, design IAR filters and uh, another one are uh, FIR filters. Students can also able to design IAR filters, FIR filters in this uh, additional signal process. Thank you.